Justin Timberlake Mirrors. Tracks FM, it's Tracks Momentum. My name is Roundhead. Well, time now is 11.15. And usually, at about this time, we've got special guests walking into the studio and we're going to be having a chat with them. First, we would like to welcome the whole entire gang from Eco Nights and the Malaysian Environmental NGOs. And the Woo! Woo! Okay. Um, in the studio, well, we're going to be speaking to the uh, group from Eco Nights. First, we've got uh, Tharani. Hi. And we also have Samantha. Hello. And we've got Nabila. Hi. All right. Now, please tell us, how did you guys start? Um, Tharani. Hi. Actually, my name is Tharani. Mm-hmm. I'm from UPM. Mm-hmm. I'm currently doing my degree mm-hmm. in Bachelor in Forestry. Mm-hmm. So, I'm doing internship in Econites. Mm-hmm. And um, when did you start? Last month, just four weeks. Okay, and what, what gave you this, um, I don't know, drive to help the environment? Actually, um, I'm studying in forestry, so it's a one of uh, patient mm-hmm. to do something in terms of um, helping and spread the awareness mm-hmm. about the environment. Mm-hmm. So, Econet is one of the best platform to do all the, um, you know, conservation uh, program and events mm-hmm. So that's why I've stepped in Econites to do my internship here Okay, in a nutshell Can you please paint us a picture About what is um, What do you learn in forestry? Forestry is so many things Actually forestry is a wide field Is about wildlife Botany mm-hmm. Ecology um, it's Business Because it's uh, involved with the logging uh, All that mm-hmm. So it's a wide field Okay, so you've got to learn everything about um, Flora Yes, and fauna. Mm, superb. Okay, what about you, Samantha? When did you start? I, I'm in Tarani. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're both classmates, mm-hmm. so we start on the same date. Okay. We start on 22nd of July. Mm-hmm. So we, uh, it's been a month here. Okay. So it's very, it's a good experience. And I found out about Econites on internet, actually. Mm. And I read all the reviews and feedback from the um, previous interns and I think it's really cool you know mm-hmm. and it's it's just so excited to be part of this team and yeah I'm blessed with all this experience so you are doing forestry as well right yeah we are classmate we mm. are classmate so far what's the toughest thing to learn um, in my university mm-hmm. okay I think the tough the toughest thing is like to complete all the tasks and assignment as a student, yeah, it's mm-hmm. a common thing. But it at the end, it it doesn't really matter because it's all about passions. It, it's all about your interest in that field that you choose to be. And I honestly, forestry is especially I'm taking major in wildlife management, mm-hmm. so it's really been my passion. So every challenge, every um, risk that I take is. It's it is uh, experience for me, so I'm blessed with it. Okay, well, good, go, go for you. Um, let's move on to Nabila. Nabila, when did you start? Uh, I started on the second of July, mm-hmm. and uh, I think it's been about one and a half months mm-hmm. around there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I found out about Eco Nights through the Knights of Nature Camp. Okay. It's one of the camp uh, organized by them, and I was a participant in it. Mm-hmm. So I was amazed by how they actually get to organize this kind of camps very successfully, and I was also um, attracted by how our CEO, uh, Yasmin Rashid, mm-hmm. how she conduct herself and managed to bring the whole team to spread awareness about uh, environmental issues. Mm. Yeah. Okay, and uh, what is the toughest uh, part about uh, your learning process right now? Okay, um, during my internship, I have to uh, help handling a few programs. So it's basically multitasking mm-hmm. and uh, mag- managing your time. Mm-hmm. So there's like at one point I find myself trying to uh, manage my time and juggle between like three programs. So that's a bit challenging because I've never done that kind of thing before. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, now that we're gonna move back to Samantha. Samantha, yeah. what's the most difficult plant to grow? Most difficult plant to grow. Um, that you tried and failed so many times. Um, flowering plants. Um, what sort? Um. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Everyone says like like flame of the forest, broken villas are like so difficult to to grow. Because of 
uh, the one, the tree that planted in the forest are easily to grow because they just can grow by themselves mm-hmm. and without human touch. And I think flowering plant um, such as rose. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, roses shrubs. are pretty pretty difficult, right? Yeah, because you have They're like manja. Yep, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you need like certain climate, you know. And um, so, what are what 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 are your, part of your responsibilities when it comes to um, your your tasks? Um, my task in Econite. Mm-hmm. Okay, my responsibilities. Um, basically, I have to um, work with it, with work with the teams and to make sure every task that I've been assigned by my supervisor mm-hmm. done in the uh, before the. Deadline, mm-hmm. so it's very challenging, and I have to be so passionate about it. Mm-hmm. Work under pressure, of course. Um, I work under pressure during my studies in university, but this is different kind of pressure. This mm-hmm. is just like so. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, Thorny, um, your most, um, I would say, no, I wouldn't ask for your most sweet. Yeah, but let's just go with your most sweetest memory of um, so far. Being uh, with a uh, part of uh, Econites. Okay, um, because Your fondest memory, sorry. Yeah, uh, currently we was working with one event. It's an environment day, so it was a uh, you know unforgettable me- experience because uh, suddenly when the event, uh, they are blackout uh, time. Okay. So the we need to handle all the workshop, all that. So we need to manage all the crowd, and yeah. Are we, we talking about the main power source or a gen yeah, side burn? Yeah, it's a main power source. Oh got dear. some problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. We managed to handle the situation, mm-hmm. and yeah, it was very happening event because we worked for I think twenty four seven for mm-hmm. the event okay. for a few days. And yeah. this is like in a jungle, no? No, no. It's um in a. Frame. Okay. It's a frame. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Thank you so much. Um, we're going to take a short break right now. And uh, you ladies actually chose one particular song. Yes. Can you please um, introduce it to us? Nabila? So, Samantha? Um, Tarani? Okay. Uh, can I choose a song? Um, well, we've already got the song which you guys chose. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Megan Trainer, Charlie Perth, Marvin yeah, Gaye, yeah. Frank <laughs> and when we come back right after this, we're going to be speaking to the Mangoes. Perth, Megan Trainer, Marvin Gaye, Tracks FM. It's Roundhead on Tracks Momentum, and right now we're going to be speaking to we've got well two representatives from the Malaysian Environmental NGOs, otherwise known as Mangoes, and Woo! one of them from uh, Eco Nights. We have YM. Good eve. Oh, well, good morning. Hi. Sorry. Morning. We have Aini from Econite. Yes. And hi. we got Hairi from uh, Mangoes. Hi. All right. Welcome to the studio. And please tell us. Uh, we're gonna start with YM. Okay. Tell us about um, Mangoes. Mango is actually the full name is Malaysian Environmental NGOs. Mm-hmm. Is a collaboration of uh, twenty six members, mm-hmm. which they are all NGOs mm-hmm. in Malaysia that fight towards sustainable living in Malaysia, mm-hmm. the green lifestyles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so uh, please uh, elaborate more. Paint us a picture about what do you guys uh, do on a daily basis? Daily basis, okay. Besides of the uh, office jobs and everything, mm-hmm. basically we. Um, Talk about our office. Mm-hmm. It's a very interesting office. Please tell Maybe us. you should pay a visit right. because uh, it's a uh, kind of green for mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. Even for a student in environmental science, mm-hmm. I think that it's very green. Mm-hmm. We did compost. We have eco enzyme. Mm-hmm. We do every single little things to help the environment. To actually, um, every every person that practice this kind of green lifestyles, we actually make changes to the world. Mm. So we should practice it. Okay. And yeah. how long have you been uh, active with uh, Mango? Um, I joined. In Mango since the first of July, mm-hmm. so means like um, one and a half months. What a month? Be it's yeah. been fun, yeah. Yeah, Le- learn a yes, lot, of course. Okay, uh, what about you, Hairi? Uh, when did you join? Uh, I joined. Come closer, same. handsome. No be shy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So when did you join? I joined uh, Mango in the sixth of July. Too. Mm-hmm. So I joined Mango. Mm-hmm. I was looking for an organization mm-hmm. that are doing environmental related work. Okay. Uh, before this, what I originally thought was that. Environmental related profession is a niche market in Malaysia, mm-hmm. but I realized I was wrong. Mm-hmm. And when I found about Mango and Econites, where both of these organizations have been struggling hard to come up with solutions mm-hmm. to many environmental problems, 
and also have helped to maintain and enhance our environment sustainability through the awareness program. So I interested to join Mango about this. Okay. So um, um since joining Mango you must have learned a lot of tips, a lot of secrets, a lot of insights. What have you done so far to Im- implement those um criteria in your daily lifestyle? Okay, basically what uh, uh uh, based on this uh, previous program, mm-hmm. which is the water food sharing campaign, it's done to raise the awareness on the water accessibility to community in needs. Mm-hmm. Uh, they taught us how to conserve and uh, save more waters in your daily life. Uh, that's why I learned. Ah, okay. So you you do that um, as a daily routine, I guess. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, what about you, Aini? You, you yes. joined Eco Nights. Yeah. And um, how has that been so far? Well, Eco Nights has been. A common thing that I've known mm-hmm. from my first year of degree because uh, I actually a mathematics student, mm-hmm. but I'm interested in doing events. Mm-hmm. And as it developed my organization management, mm-hmm. and also I like to serve the community mm-hmm. and to don't worry. And to contribute mm-hmm. to the environment. Oh, okay. Um, please paint us a picture about your hometown. Hometown. Mm-hmm. Well, I grew up in KL, mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's not actually. A Excuse me. Thing. Hello. This is my hometown <laughs> as well. <laughs> and yes, it's so awesome when Chinese Yuan Hai Raya, right? Yes, we can play football over in the uh, Federal Highway. Yeah, so please tell us about uh, where, you, where you live. Um, you know, paint us a little picture about uh, the greenery and uh, I don't know, uh, what have you done so far? Maybe in front of your home, your garden, the small little sanctuary which you have? Oh, yes. Um, it's an urban area, mm-hmm. of course. Mm-hmm. And most of it um i gardening a lot mm-hmm. in front of my garden mm-hmm. in front of my lawn mm-hmm. and we have a mangoes mango tree mm-hmm. um hibiscus mm-hmm. and so on okay <laughs> um why am yes. um how far do you see this going Actually, I have to admit that Malaysia is actually going through a slow movement in mm-hmm. this green mm-hmm. um, effort. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that everyone should do the basic thing first. Mm-hmm. Like the 1st of the September, we are going to segregate our waste at source, which means uh, everybody plays a part in the environment, starts with uh, segregating the waste. Mm-hmm. So it's important for me that actually everyone practice this green thing together so that we can make changes okay yeah. um there are a lot of uh, people out there who can be a little bit ignorant when it comes to okay we're telling them you know but plastic go decide you know yeah. uh, paper go decide yes. and everything tell us h- how important is that actually i've been to landfills in sabah mm-hmm. and the situation is quite terrifying which you mean uh, you can see actually everything is being dumped there mm-hmm. eventually uh I don't think so it's appropriate because landfills are supposedly for the non-recycled uh, waste mm-hmm. that uh, such as the kitchen waste mm-hmm. and those cannot be recycled mm-hmm. thing but I've seen like newspaper even tires is over there mm-hmm. and the the lifespan of the landfills eventually will goes off mm-hmm. yeah so it's important for us to segregate it as source mm-hmm. so that we can expand the lifespan of the landfills and everyone gets a better quality of living because mm-hmm. landfills place an important That's right. Role. And of course, education as well. Yes. They have to keep reminding them. Yeah, keep, keep reminding, reminding until they practice it. Okay. <laughs> uh, what about you, Hairi? How how far do you think uh, this can go? And um, tell us what are the most important things. Just give us like three tips on what we can do in our daily life to actually help with this cause. Oh... Okay. Come closer. Okay. Um, yeah. So, to be honest, uh, like YM said just now, mm-hmm. uh, our Malaysia's uh, green sustainable living uh, growing slow in slow pace. Mm-hmm. So, what I'm uh, truly uh, understands when I internship with Mango is basically um, what is come to uh, why is the water is more important. Mm-hmm. So, how why water is so. Um, I mean, because yeah, we need we need we need clean drinking water. We don't want um, 
um, sometimes we switch on our taps, we get that brown, mm. and uh, it can get kind of scary, especially when you're boiling water and you see the residue at the end. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Yeah. Um, can you please share with us maybe some tips on maybe how to just. You know? So, what, uh, what one of the mango project is the. Uh, water, uh, rainwater harvesting system mm-hmm. where they use a uh, rainwater, which mm-hmm. is the rainwater is free resources, mm-hmm. and they uh, we make use quite a lot of this water uh, for outdoor mm-hmm. use, mm-hmm. such as uh, gardening. We can use most of rainwater instead of using uh, mm, switching on the tap. Uh, switch on the tap, so mm-hmm. you can save on the water bills. Mm-hmm. So, so this is one of the ways to to use. Uh, rainwater lah. Okay, um, I do have a little bit of a water situation at home, and I sometimes have to keep buying, you know, bottled water from outside. Is there anything you can help me with? I don't think so. I don't. Can either. you teach me some filterization? <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, before we take a short break, um, Aini, um, so far with Eco Nights, mm-hmm. um, what are you most passionate about? Okay. Um. Currently, uh, we we have. Experienced a one event, mm-hmm. which um, I was manage all the ten vendors in communicating them, mm-hmm. and also in handling as a um, stage manager mm-hmm. the day of the event. Mm-hmm. So my biggest challenge would be to be up from my comfort zone mm-hmm. and to go through the adventurous journey by working under pressure. Mm-hmm. Okay, and um, so far the vendors has been they have been very cooperative. Yeah, yeah, and most uh, of them yes. Then they're fun. <laughs> Just say um, if we were going to one of your events, right? What mm-hmm. can we expect? Yes, by of course fun, mm-hmm. educative, mm-hmm. aware, more information about the environment, mm-hmm. so you'll be more aware about what the current situation is now, mm-hmm. and can have just mm, a lot of fun. <laughs> And at least the best we can do right now is everyone try and plant a tree. Yeah. Right. I mean, Basic things. It's, and it's so much fun planting a tree. <laughs> right, we're going to take a short break. We just spoke to uh, YM and also Hairi from uh, Mango and Aini from Eco Nights. And the rest of the gang are here as well. Whoa. Yay! Whoa. Back together, Robin Thick, Tracks FM. Back together, this is Tracks FM. It's Tracks Momentum. My name is Roundhead. And here we are with Eco Nights and Mango. Woo! All right. And we're back with Tharani, Samantha, and Nabila. Um, Tharani, do you think it's important for young university students to join you guys? Yeah, obviously. Mm-hmm. Because um, internship, especially uh, working in Eco Nights, mm-hmm. is a bad perf- Platform mm-hmm. to implant all the theories and knowledge we learn in universities. Mm-hmm. So, internship experience is very important, especially in real working life. Mm-hmm. So, I think this is the very important part of life. Mm-hmm. So, and yes, we are very blessed to do internship in this place. And um, from your side, what's the number one criteria which you guys need or are looking for? Is um, confident about yourself. Mm-hmm. Yes, actually. Um, be confident with what we're doing. Mm-hmm. Actually, that's the thing will be bring us to the next level. Okay, um, Samantha. Yes. Uh, if anybody wants to start the internship, uh, where's the best place to start? Who's the best person to contact? Mm. Uh, internship in Econites, mm-hmm. uh, where you can contact one of interns here. Mm-hmm. Uh, or you can don't worry you can give us your phone number right now ask oh. <laughs> ask <kidding. laughs> <Asking. laughs> okay uh, yeah oh you can do you guys have a website or yeah maybe? we have uh, our website www.econites.org.my mm-hmm. so you can uh, check out everyone can check out our websites mm-hmm. and um, uh, we do have Facebook mm-hmm. so you can check out www.facebook.com uh, slash econites mm-hmm. And That's E C O K N I G H T S. Okay, and um, ooh, before we continue um, with um, um, with Nabila, Nabila, um, yeah. being a university student, a lot of people probably want want to join, you know, other clubs or do other things. Um, uh, what would you say to them if they would like to join Econites? I would say that uh, they should be ready to learn mm-hmm. new things, even though it's really challenging for them. Mm-hmm. Or it's something that they don't really like. Mm-hmm. But eventually, in the end, you'll find that it's really useful 
for your future, you know, in any field that you are at. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and just have fun. That's mm-hmm. all. Just have fun and then be open-minded and learn how to communicate with people mm-hmm. even though they are like, uh, let's say they are from a different ranking or they are like more professional than you don't mm-hmm. feel intimidated. Mm-hmm. Just uh, open up to them because mm-hmm. some of them, most of them, the people who I've met, mm-hmm. they are really friendly. They are willing to guide me along. So, as long as I'm willing to learn, then it's fine. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you guys look like a, a, a like a fun lot, you know. You guys look yes. like uh, you guys can yeah. gel very well, <laughs> thinking on the same wavelength. Um, did, did you? Uh, was it difficult at first? I mean, getting together, trying to start the chemistry. Or kind for me, yeah, because I'm actually an introvert. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it took me. Yay, my gang! <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so it took me about like a week mm-hmm. to like uh, get along with them, mm-hmm. to warm up to them. But you know, in the end, we managed to have. Uh, <laughs> wow! No, we're not gonna go there. Not gonna go there. <laughs> what about you, Samantha? Um, first I step in in Eco Nights. Mm-hmm. It's like very strange environment mm-hmm. surrounding because I'm we are the newest here. Mm-hmm. So, but. Day by day, everyone just so open-minded. Mm-hmm. They are so sporting, and yeah, I have a uh, fun teams. Yeah, I very excited about it. Since um, Aini is standing over there, right? I mean, uh, is she no? Where where is yeah, she? She's here. She, she must be very <laughs> naughty, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay, um, sorry, YM, can you come closer to my and uh, tell us, um, you know, what's the best advice you can give uh, to anyone who would like to maybe join Mango? Uh, of course, not only Mango, Econize. Well, mm-hmm. um, you can be anyone mm-hmm. who, like, Aini is mathematician, mm-hmm. and I'm from environmental science, mm-hmm. from forestry. Mm-hmm. Everything, basically, if you have a passion towards changes mm-hmm. to green lifestyles, mm-hmm. you can join us. Okay. As volunteers as well. Ah, uh, sweet. Um, how do we get in uh, touch with you guys? Yes, of course. Uh, Facebook, social mm-hmm. media, Twitter, everything. Just Google Mango. Malaysian Environmental, environmental NGOs. NGOs. Yes. Mango. Uh, what about your best advice, um, Hairi? Okay, my best advice for <coughs> for me what come what first come to my first um, this internship program help mm-hmm. uh, you to develop strong communication skills okay. by interacting with others in a professional environment during mm-hmm. an internships. Uh, most of all, you guys can develop a better work habit mm-hmm. where through this internship, that you you guys can learn how to manage tasks. Or projects and learn how to carry yourself in the professional environments. Mm-hmm. And so at Mango and Econess, you are guided by awesome coordinator, mm-hmm. and you also can learn from your colleagues by observing their positive work habits. Okay. Well, thank you so much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, is there anything else you would like to say to our listeners? Um. Don't worry, you guys. Okay. Can take um. Them. I have advice to yes, Samantha. Uh, everyone will undergo an internship soon. Mm-hmm. So my advice is, do not afraid to do something different. Do not afraid to try something new that you haven't tried before because you will shock on the work lot that you will face later. But believe me, you learn a lot. So just trust yourself. Believe yourself. You can do it. So you will face everything. All right. Uh, just before we let you go, um, how many of you all drive cars? I need to work. Oh, yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> couple. Couple. We are couples. Yeah, we are yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. And what's that? Diesel car? Is that a petrol car? <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm going to put your little things out. <laughs> we are speaking to the rest of the gang from Eco Nights and also Malaysian Environmental NGOs, Mangoes. And um, we're going to wrap things up for this hour. Coming up with the news at 12 with Ruben. So stick around. Tracks FM, Tracks Momentum. My name is Roundhead.